Hey everybody, I'm Nowski, and thanks for watching another one of my Nowski vlogs. I'll be talking about the fourth semester of nursing school in this video. You may have seen my first, second, and third semester nursing school videos, and you may have been wondering what happened to Nowski. Did he fall off the face of the earth? Did he not graduate? Did he fail? Well, I'm here to say that I finished my fourth semester. I graduated. Um, all is good. And I am here to kind of just talk to you about what the fourth semester was like, in case you've been following these videos, and um, uh, yeah, so fourth semester nursing school vlog video thing. And you can be on the lookout for another video where I talk about the NCLEX. Um, I don't think I'm going to add it into this video because I feel like it'll make it too long, but I'll have another short little video where I talk about NCLEX, my experience, and how all that went. So yeah, just be looking for that if you want to, like if, like if you care. So in the fourth semester of nursing school, I took community nursing. I took um, med surge three, um, or it was all, I mean, it was critical care nursing. Um, I also took professional nursing issues and then I took my final nursing practicum. Those were the four big classes that happened for fourth semester, at least at my nursing school. Every nursing school might be a little bit different, but those are the classes that I took. Um, community nursing, we used, well, I used this book. I got an older edition of the book that we were actually required to get because this one was cheaper and the only difference was they got a new cover and they changed some photos on the inside so I got this book for my community nursing class. It was a cool class. We got to um, just learn about public health nursing, nursing for populations and things like that. So in the clinical that went along with community nursing we got to go out in the community and take part um, in community nursing. Some of us were paired up with agencies that did home health care and we would follow around nurses that go home to home helping patients who are homebound but have issues that require the assistance of nurses. And then where I actually went, that was some of my classmates who did that, I went to a community center which was set up at a church um, for the his Hispanic community in the city that I live in, so we got to take part and just, um, I don't know where the, what would you call it, little um, community initiatives where people would come in and they would just get a quick checkup or there was a day that they had um, eye doctors there who would check out these people's eyes, we, we would screen blood pressure, um, just things like that. We did a lot of education just about diet, um, about various disease conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, things like that. So that is kind of what community nursing was like. We, uh, we just did a lot of education and got to interact with people in the community instead of at like a, in a hospital setting. That's another class that I took. Um, oh, critical care or med surge three. That was cool because we got to get into more serious conditions. Um, we learned about heart rhythms. We actually went through the advanced cardiac life support stuff. We, uh, so we all got certified while we were in nursing school, which was cool. Um, I got to leave with the ACLS cert certification. We got to... Um, go have clinicals in the hospital, but in this case we were in ICUs or the emergency room. So we just got to see more critical stuff going on. Uh, we got to see patients on ventilators. We got to see um, all sorts of stuff in the ER. If you ever get to, to have a clinical in the ER, that is really cool in my opinion. So that was that. We For the lecture portion, we didn't really go from a textbook the professor taught from her notes, which you might find that a lot of your nursing professors do that. They just have their own notes, their own PowerPoints, and they teach from that. I thought that was cool because the book that we were using, which a lot of y'all might have been using this book, uh, it's wordy 
and gets really technical, like if you're getting your uh, doctorate in nursing, uh, you could maybe use this book. I don't know. They just go really in depth with everything. So I was kind of glad that she just taught us off of her notes. Um, we learned a lot about burns, um, yeah, ventilators, uh, neuro trauma type stuff in that class. So really cool. And then we got to see it in the in the clinical setting. The third course that I was in was Professional Nursing Issues, and this was just a lecture class. There was no clinical attached to it. And in this class, we basically just learned about ethical dilemmas that nurses might experience. Um, and that was really it. That was just a big um, legal issues, things like that. We did a project where we each, we did group projects. Um, yeah, everybody loves group projects. No, no, I do not like group projects, but we did a group project where we had to go over um, an ethical dilemma that we experienced in the clinical setting and then talk to the class about it and things like that. So that was that course, um, pretty, pretty simple. Within that course, we also prepared for NCLEX. Someone came in and did a review with us over a bunch of nursing stuff, helped us prepare for NCLEX. We went through this HESI NCLEX RN uh, live review workbook. So that was part of that professional nursing issues course as well. And then the final course, which took up the majority of the semester, was your final nursing practicum. All of the other courses at my school, we basically did in the first half half of the semester and then in the second half of the semester it was strictly your practicum. You went to work in the hospital with your RN um, for 12 hour shifts or whatever your RN works, uh, 8 hour, 10 hour. Most of them around here worked 12 hour shifts and we had to do that for 120 hours. Um, you would either get, you could at my school, you could ask for a specific unit that you were interested in, whether it be OB, ER, ICU, um, but the large majority of us got um, med surge, which is good. You get to see a lot and just learn all sorts of nursing skills on a med surge floor. I lucked out and I got the ER, which is what I really wanted. Um, they they kind of divvied out ERs and ICUs based on your GPA, I think it was, or whatever. Um, so if you're doing good, you got you, you got what you wanted. Um, so I got the ER, which was cool. Um, did 120 hours in the ER, got to experience all sorts of cool stuff. This was at a pretty big hospital, um, a level one trauma center ER. There were like, I think like 80 beds in this ER. So it was big and it was busy. And that was my nursing practicum. You get paired up with an RN and you're working with them towards the end. They're kind of watching you, just letting you be on your own too, which is really cool because once you graduate, um, that's what you're getting ready for. You're getting ready to be on your own. After you do graduate, you will go through a, a time where you're paired up with an RN, of course, doing orientation at the hospital that you get hired at. But it was cool because basically in your final practicum, you just feel like you're going to work at the hospital that you're assigned to, you're working 36 to 40 hours a week, just whatever your RN preceptor schedule is like, you just work that. Some of us were working night shifts um, and some of us were working day shifts. So that was that. I have to say that the fourth semester of nursing school was my favorite semester. I really enjoyed my final practicum. I enjoyed critical care. Um, community nursing was cool, just being in a different setting and it was just nice to wrap it all up. We all got excited because we knew there was a light at the end of the tunnel and we were getting close. Um, so yeah, I would have to say stick through it because the fourth semester is the best. So yeah, that was fourth semester. I did graduate in December um, and that was awesome. We got to wear our white coats and go through that uh, whole pinning ceremony. A lot of I think most nursing schools do a pinning ceremony where you walk across the stage wearing your white coat and they pin your school pin on you. So that was cool. Insert photo here of me and my classmates. 
Yes, I did have a pretty epic beard going for my pinning ceremony. Well, that wraps up my video about the fourth semester of nursing school. If you are interested in watching my vlog about the NCLEX, which I took right after the fourth semester ended, feel free to click here in the middle of the screen. As always, you can feel free to subscribe, and I will talk to you later.